within the space of probably six or seven weeks, Tesla will have 2 million pre-orders for the Cybertruck. It's only 56,000 orders away from 2 million. That is ridiculous. Elon Musk just pointed out demand for the Cybertruck is insane. It's so-called off the hook. What does this mean for Cybertruck production? What does this mean for the future of Tesla? Well, here's what I have to think. Here's what I have to say. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Australia. Guys, welcome all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Now, I should say guys and girls, but here in Australia, guys, just is a reference to guys, males, and females. I have been critiqued in the past saying that I'm being sexist by saying that, but just so you know. Cybertruck. Yeah, you all know that I pre-ordered one within, I don't know what it was, 10 or 15 minutes of the reveal when a lot of people were saying it was fake, it was so ugly, it was a joke. When was the real, do you, do you remember seeing this? When is the real vehicle going to come out? When is Tesla going to show the real vehicle? Remember people saying that? What about the um, what about the vaporware claims? How many times have we seen the vaporware claim being posted? I mean, thousands. If I had a dollar for every time I'd seen someone post the vaporware claims, well, I'd be a lot richer than I am today. Cybertruck now has, according to its, uh, basically it's like a spreadsheet where you can enter your order number in. So crowdsource data, we can see Tesla have never revealed this information, but apparently according to the crowdsource data, Tesla now has just under 2 million pre-orders. So they've got 1,944,000 reservations. That's about 1.6 million more reservations than any other car in history. I think the Model 3 had, what was it, about 400,000, apparently. Now, yes, it's true that not everyone's going to go through with their order. The reason they won't go through with their order for a lot of people will be that they don't want to wait years. I mean, if you think about it, it's probably going to take Tesla five years to get through 2 million pre-orders. And a lot of people are just going to go, no, 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 I'm not going to wait. I'm tired of waiting. A lot of people will probably say, um, I don't want this car for various reasons. But let's say Tesla only converts a quarter one in four of their reservations. That's still 500,000 vehicles. That's ridiculous. Now, one of the reasons that I think the Cybertruck production will work, Morgan Stanley, Adam Jonas says, it's only gonna be a niche vehicle, a Ferrari level vehicle. Tesla only produce maybe a few thousand a year. Uh, Ferrari like numbers, gonna be very expensive, over over $100,000. Even Elon Musk said it's gonna be very expensive. I don't think it will be as expensive as what people think. Now, keep in mind, part of Tesla's plan said, the Cybertruck will use a lithium-ion phosphate battery. Now, not all versions will, of course. I'm going to guess the cheaper model will use the new M3P cells from CATL. Now, keep in mind, these new M3P cells use manganese. They have high energy density, lithium-ion phosphate battery pack. You can charge it to 100%. So you, in theory, you're really getting more range than what you would the equivalent ternary batteries. Now, 4680 cells now have 10%, 10% higher energy density, but... Tesla can't mass manufacture the Cybertruck based on their 4680 cell production. It's way too small. Way, way, way too small. Clearly, Tesla know this. They know the M3P batteries from CHL are much cheaper. The energy density of those LFP cells now is probably around 15% behind 4680 cells. 15%. That's not very far. In my opinion, those batteries are what will enable Tesla to mass produce the Cybertruck at a price that a lot of people can realistically afford. I'm gonna guess around $65,000 for the cheapest model, but I don't know, that's a guess. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Keep in mind, if the price is at that level, it will actually get the $7,500 tax credit, making it much more affordable than probably equivalent gasoline powered pickup trucks. Remember, it's got a 6.5 foot bed, it's a big vehicle. In terms of actual interior space, because of the way it's been made, it's got a similar interior footprint and space levels to something like an F-250, but it fits in a garage. Elon Musk said this, orders for the vehicle are so off the hook, you can't even see the hook. And that would sound like Elon Musk marketing, but the reality is it's very true. Cybertruck orders are so enormous that people are throwing deposits down, even though they may be waiting four or five years. So people pre-ordering it now, they have to have a good idea, right? Unless they're stupid. They have to have a pretty good idea. They're not going to get the vehicle for many years. That's, that's interesting to see that kind of demand. The other interesting thing is to see Google search trends. There's been more clicks or searches 
for Tesla Cybertruck than almost every other vehicle put together over the last 12 months. At Tesla's earnings call that was just happened a few days ago, Tesla said the Cybertruck is the first truck we're aware of that will have four doors, a six over a six foot bed. Now it's apparently meant to have a six and a half foot bed, but it sounds like maybe it won't be quite six and a half feet and will fit into a 20 foot garage. So it's sort of the biggest on the outside, but it's bigger on the inside. In other words, it's in a different category to the F-150 Lightning. The Lightning has a 5.5 foot bed. It's quite a bit smaller in terms of its interior space, not only for passengers, but also for actually storing things in the tray. Demand is evident for the truck. Elon Musk understated at the earnings call, and he said, demand is so far off the hook, you can't even see the hook. I do want to emphasize that the Cybertruck has a lot of new technology in it, like a lot. It doesn't look like, it doesn't look like any other vehicle because it is not like any other vehicle. And he'd be right. I mean, there's no other pickup truck being made with giga castings, nothing, nothing at all. As of now, the Cybertruck has 1.944 million pre-orders. So 1,944,000. That's nearly 200 million in pre-order revenue for the pickup. But if we think about the overall value, let's just say 50% of those pre-orders actually follow through. Let's say 50% of people actually follow through with their order. That would mean at a price of $65,000, I mean, obviously there's gonna be different variants of the truck that will be more expensive than that. I'm gonna guess that's the cheapest version. Let's just times the cheapest version by 1 million. That is a total of $65 billion. $65 billion for a single vehicle. Now, if every single order followed through, which it won't, that would be $130 billion in revenue. $130 billion. I'm going to guess that Tesla is going to eventually make 2 million Cybertrucks, but it's going to take it quite a long time considering they're ramping up from almost nothing today. To give you some context, $65 billion. Ford's total revenue last year for its entire company, including its finance business worldwide, was $158 billion. So what I want to know, guys, what I want to know is this. Do you think the Cybertruck will actually be a success. I mean, you guys know that, you know, I'm completely biased. I love the Cybertruck. I love practicality. I love the kind of fact that it's stainless steel. It's a new product. I love that it's an electric pickup truck that I think is going to be something that people will love. And I'm completely biased. But what I want to know is give me some objectivity here. Everyone, let me know in the comments, do you think it will succeed? Are people going to love it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.